The Christmas season can be stressful for many people, from the shopping to the baking, making Christmas cards, and of course, all that decorating. Well, sometimes people get so worked up, they can't control their anger, like Chevy Chase did in National Lampoon's Christmas Vacation. It's like, that just kind of says it all, doesn't it? This got us thinking, how can we de-stress the holidays? Joining me right now is Dr. Tara Robertson, a psychologist with Bell & Health. Obviously, some people don't take it to that extreme. Well, let's hope not. <laughs> let's hope not. But you, you're kind of, your biggest tip for de-stressing is nostalgia. Yeah. Tell me what you mean by that. You know, with the economy the way that it is, people are so, they're overworked, they're overstressed, finances are tight. I figured... Why talk about the typical cut back on your spending, don't eat so much chocolate, get more exercise, etc. Let's bring it back to the more traditional yeah. holiday season and, and really take a look at nostalgia and how that can be beneficial for, for people this time of the year and really help decrease their stress. Okay, so then how can the holidays help us make us feel nostalgic? The holidays bring back a lot of ideas about tradition. They help us get reconnected with friends and family that maybe we haven't seen in a long time. For some of us, we only see these people maybe once a year and this may be it. Mm -hmm. So it brings back really fond memories that we have with them of fun times, times when we were younger, silly things that maybe we used to do when we were kids. So that's one way that it can help us get started on a de-stressed holiday season. Yeah, and uh, they can certainly uh, increase the levels of nostalgia. I mean, the movies that we're watching, <laughs> yes. I mean, National Lampoons and, and all that. <laughs> Yes, a good, exciting holiday movie like National Lampoons can really go a long way, but they bring us back to childhood memories sometimes. Even There's even really good research on lyrics in music yeah. that can trigger happier times in our life, exciting times, reminds us of, let's say, baking Christmas cookies with Grandma or going to cut down the Christmas tree and things like that. Mm -hmm. well, what would you say nostalgia has to do with self-esteem? Nostalgia has actually been shown to raise self-esteem in people. So it's almost like people who look at the world as the glass being half full versus half empty. Mm -hmm. So people who are more nostalgic tend to have more memories associated, not just with events, but with the people who were present during those events, people that were supportive to them, people that were helpful, loving, maybe did something fun and exciting or started a new tradition with them versus just the event itself. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, I think that, that makes a lot of sense. And um, you know, for a lot of people, unfortunately, holidays can bring up bad memories. Absolutely. Not everybody has fond memories of the holidays. That is for sure. The good thing about nostalgia is that typically somebody can find something about the holidays that is, 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 is a de-stressor that can make them happy. And if it's not a family situation, maybe it's connecting with friends. Maybe it is starting a new tradition with your own family versus steering clear of maybe some of the events that weren't so great in your own childhood. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, certainly, I think, I mean, we can all relate that the holidays can be so stressful. Absolutely. And maybe even just taking a deep breath, <laughs> put on some of your, your favorite Christmas right. music or that pop in that favorite way. Christmas movie. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you. And we wish you a happy holidays. Thank you. Happy holidays. And a happy too. new year. Happy we are going to take a quick break. Good day, Wisconsin. We'll be right back.